If we could describe our work in three adjectives, I guess it would be, you know, bright, colorful, and happy. That speaks a lot about our personal brand and our personal preferences. Hi, I'm Pong. Hi, I'm Tippi. And we're the couple behind the Googly Gooeys. If there's one thing that's consistent with our work, it's a love for colors. Our blog is about color and we've pretty much extended that into our brand of photography, as well as our crafts, one of which is watercolor. Personally, I really like my colors vibrant and I'm going to show you how I mix them. My favorite base is called Opera or Magenta and I use it for all my reds and purples and oranges. If you mix opera with shell pink here, you get a certain shade of carnation pink. But if you mix opera with orange, this is how it's gonna look like. This is opera, orange, and flesh produces a coral shade. This is opera and cobalt blue. It produces a certain kind of red-violet. With watercolor, you start with the light colors first. Then that's when you proceed to the dark colors. Actually, when you um, paint, it's just like you're pushing and pulling colors around the paper. I tried filling out the bigger spaces first just so that it kind of, you know, dictates the palette and the tone of the work. And then that's when I started doing the tinier details. For the design or the subject of your watercolor work, it actually really depends on you and what inspires you or what makes you happy. I think that's what's really important. There are actually a lot of things that you can do with watercolor. You can actually have your designs printed on fabric, just like what we did with our OBD or O Brighter Days collection with Hemas. This project that we have here is a collaboration with Haima and the Googly Googies. Haima is actually the Icelandic word for home. What we used here are some of our photos that we shot in Iceland. Most of the patterns also are inspired by what we saw there. The inspiration for the couch here are the star trails and the borealis. Just pick up a brush, buy a watercolor set, and then just start painting. And a lot of the things you will actually be able to achieve when you practice more often.